Yeah, no, this was huge. Just division opponent at home. We always want to take care of the home. Um, had some great fans, a lot of support. Defense played their tails off, made it easy on us. So it was a big team win. You know, it seems like each week you've gotten better. What do you credit that to? Has it been the scheme, just being more comfortable game planning towards you? Has it the offense kind of been tailored towards you? Or has it just been a total team victory? Because week one, you came in, you did well. Last week, you went down to the wire with the Texans. Now this week, you find a way to beat a divisional opponent. Yeah, no, we've been trying to get better every week. Um, and I think one of the biggest things is just you get more comfortable with the more reps you get. And, um, you know, coming in, I didn't get many, you know, so I get more and more confident with each rep I take. You, know, and you say you get more comfortable as it goes on. Try to put your finger on what point did it kind of click and you say, oh, I got this. I really think I can do this. Yeah, I mean, that's something I believe for a long, long time, you know, when a lot of, not many people did. Um, but, man, it's credit to this organization for giving me a chance. And I'm just trying to prove them right every day. You've become a cult icon already in just <laughs> the first three games of your NFL career. What does it mean to feel the support and the love of a fan base like this right now? Oh, man, you can't beat it. You can't beat it. Coming here, getting a win at home, like, there's, there can't be a better feeling. You, you, you will be back in the room with Nick Foles. Talk, talk to us about how much he, he has helped you in this process. Oh, man, Nick, as good of a football player he is, he's a better person. Yeah. One of the best people I've been around. He's really, you know, put his arm around me. You know, been a big brother to me. It's been awesome. And um, I know it, it's just going to continue. So, Gardner, I, 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 this humble pie is getting stuck in the <laughs> oh, teeth. Oh, oh. So, you, you come in here, you play a fantastic game. We had the pro game, we have the pregame show. And I want to first say you played a heck of a game. Oh. I doubted you. I didn't believe oh. that you would play this well that you're doing. So, first of all, I like to. One. Are you saying Nickel your for takes the, are on the struggle bus? Are, your uh, pregame takes are on the struggle bus. No, is no, what no, you're no, trying I'm, to say. No, pregame takes are unbelievable. Oh, oh, I don't know but, about that. I, I think Garner might disagree. I, I put my foot in my mouth, so I wanted to take it out in front of you and ask you this. You played a great game, but tell us one thing you, you know you need to improve on to take the next step with this team. Yeah, no, I appreciate you doing that, by the way. Um, not the first, but uh, <laughs> but I appreciate it. Um, so, you know, I think just getting better play to play. We can't, we're beating ourselves at times, you know, whether it's penalties, missed passes, uh, but we just got to continue to try to push the ball downfield every drop. So these last couple of years have been pretty crazy for you, playing with Mike Leach and then kind of getting just thrown into the spotlight here. What has that been like for you? What's the what's the craziest thing that's changed? Oh, man, nothing's changed. You know, I, I told people, you know, I'm the same guy now that got booed off the field at ECU that didn't have any scholarships out of high school. I'm the same guy who's sitting there right now. You know, so I'm just uh, got to give the glory to God. It's awesome to be here, and I'm just going to make the most of my opportunity. Gardner, you take over as quarterback, and there's a lot swirling around in the locker room around the Jalen Ramsey situation. What is it like being in that locker room at this time? Yeah, man, you know, adversity, it can tear you apart or it can bring you together. And I think it's one thing that we're coming together around this situation. Um, and, you know, after these last, you know, two tough games, coming together, getting a win, home, uh, win at home, is only going to serve us and get us closer as we move forward. I, I, I had you guys winning the division, and of course that was with Nick Foles at quarterback. Now that you're at quarterback, what is the expectations? What should the expectations be for this Jaguars team? Hey, we're, we're just trying to get one win a week. That's all we can do. Our eyes on the Broncos next. You know what I'm saying? So that, that's all Man, I can say. Man, you're right too now. young to come up with that one win a week. <laughs> you were supposed to be. You say, hey, I'm gonna take him to the promised land. Very polished. It's right. like he's been through this before. All right, give me some dap now. That's good. Thank that's you. a good one. I'll take that. So Gardner, I, I see your dad over there in the crowd, and we saw him throughout the game, and it was. This has to be really cool to share this type of moment with your dad. Let's bring dad up here. There Welcome, dad. Everybody, everybody. I, I want to know what dad bench presses. Uh, uh, yeah. It looks like you put up some weight. <laughs> oh, he throws it up now. Uh, I bet you can throw it up. Oh, that's all right. Man. Hi. So, Gardner. so, Gardner, how cool is it to share this moment with dad uh, and the whole awesome. family? Yeah, no, I've had the supporting cast through four transfers, four different schools, every step of the way. You know, it's been meant so much. And for them to share this moment with me now, man, I, I couldn't be happier. All right, dad. What has it been like to watch your son take the NFL by storm week in and week out? Now you have hundreds of thousands of people wearing his mustache. You know, I've always been so proud of him because he works his tail off. I'm happy for him for the success. I'm happy for these guys, but I'm always proud of how, how he works. 
Dad, what, what is your workout routine? Because you're jacked. <laughs> you know, I just run some marathons, you know. Yeah, you run like, marathons. I just run some marathons. Uh, some marathons? I wish. No. Are you, can you lift with your pops? Huh? Can you lift weights? I can lift around them. I can't lift with them. Okay. No. Hey, hey, Carter, tell you got you have young men right now that have, have watched you play in three weeks, but they don't know your story. You went the scenic route. You went to community college, then you did this, you did that. Tell us what kept you motivated to continue to follow your dream to get you today. Talk to them right now, those young kids who do not feel that they're good enough. Yeah, man, I'd say it all starts with the belief in yourself. And, you know, you got to have great people around you. So when you don't believe it, they can pick you up and help you keep going. Because there was times, man, it got tough where I didn't have offers. I didn't have, you know, choices. And I was kind of stuck. But, man, I just kept following, kept my faith in God, I kept my faith in my family. And we all got through it together. Gardner, um, the mustache oh. is a bold <laughs> move. That looks good on you, and, uh, yeah. Steve, did I you know, forget yours? I was going to ask yours you. At home. Uh, what, I, like, I told you I wasn't wearing it. What went into the decision oh. of the mustache? Because it, it didn't come from Dad, that's yeah. for sure. No, no, it was uh, kind of a silly thing. We started at camp and at uh, Washington State, and everybody quit on me. So I was like, screw y'all, I'm doing this longer than everybody. And, here we are. I how, feel do you feel, how do you feel about the Titans coach trolling you by trying to wear a mustache in the game today, but it didn't affect you whatsoever? No interceptions, no sacks. Yeah, I didn't see it. I didn't see oh, it. Oh, he didn't even look Ooh. in his direction. Yeah. Tuned it Ooh. out. Wow. Ooh. Disrespectful. Uh, hey, no, did you no, get, no, 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 no. He's losing my did mustache. Get, yeah, I know, me too. Did you get anything from your wide receivers? Because one of the things, Steve and I, we talk about when we get a young quarterback in, you know, as a court, what, wide receiver, I come and say, hey, man, listen, I'm here for you all day. What kind of encouragement or words did you get from your wide receivers? Yeah, man, it's been from the wide receivers, offensive line, defense. Everybody's made me feel so comfortable, made me feel at home back there. And uh, we're just starting to build those relationships. So, you know, I, I'm excited where it's going to go. During this game, we watch Dad sort of live and die by every single play <laughs> out there. So, Dad, what was that like just going through this game emotionally for you? You know, just watching him, just watching the game unfold. It's not so much about him, it's about his team and just, hey, what did it get a first down? Let's get a stop. Let's get a score. Yeah, and, and we have video of it up right now. So, Carter, <laughs> you can you can see what you put your dad through tonight. <laughs> Pretty great outcome, though. Yeah, no doubt. You can't beat it. Can't beat it. I hear you're a big band workout guy as well. Do you have any tips for anybody out there that's uh, looking to looking to get in shape? Yeah, I'd say uh, remove the friction. That's what I want to know. Khalid was looking at somebody for sure. I'm just trying to figure that out. You, you don't want any friction or inhibitions from clothes, so the best way is just, you know, do it for <laughs> <a> <laughs> Okay. Yeah. All, right. Yeah. All right, well, um, hey, we'll let you get out of here so you can get your band workout on.